Hey everyone, this is Fran from the 5 Minute Modeler providing you with various model railroad topics in 5 minutes or less so you can spend more time working on your trains rather than watching YouTube videos. Today we're going to talk about chain link fences. Fences are an integral part of our world but are not modeled nearly as often as they appear in the real world. I'll be looking at a couple of products that are available and providing my observations. Just a note, I have not been paid nor been provided samples of any of these products, and these are just my observations and opinions. Yours may differ. First, let's take a look at some model scenes with fences. Chain link fencing has been around for a long time. It is extremely common in industrial areas, and you may want to consider adding more fences to your layout. These photos are from scenes from my layout as well as my friend Tom's, you can see how these fences add tremendous detail as well as boundaries to the layout. Fences, of course, are built to keep people out of specific areas for privacy, security, and safety reasons. By adding fences to our layouts, we can improve the details of these. There are several companies that manufacture chain link fencing. However, I'm going to focus on the two more popular products. If you've had good success with another product, drop a note in the comments as we'll all appreciate it. Woodland Scenics makes a nicely detailed fencing product that retails for around $13 a package, though you can often find it discounted. This provides around 192 scale feet of fencing. For perspective, this is about the length of a 540 foot box cars. This comes with a single gate section as well as a double gated section. The fencing comes ready to install and is painted and weathered. By itself it looks very nice. The fencing is a standard six foot tall with each fence section about eight and a half feet between posts. Installation is easy by creating small holes where the posts go in. This model does not come with barbed wire on top. Gold Metal Models is another well-known brand of fencing. Their product is photo etched brass and has extremely fine detail. It is somewhat delicate and must be handled carefully to avoid unwanted bends or creases. This fencing includes barbed wire on top, though that can easily be removed, and retails for $20 from their webpage. Their fencing is also six foot tall and is spaced about nine and a half feet between posts. The barbed wire section adds around 18 inches more to the fence, but that needs to be bent over as in the prototype. The package includes 220 scale feet of fencing in four different sections and includes a gated section. The fencing is not painted or weathered, so you'll need to take care of that. Both models are good representations. However, I would suggest not placing them side by side on your layout as the gold metal model fence appears much finer in detail. In fact, the fence posts on the gold metal model scale out to about three inches wide, whereas the Woodland Scenics fence posts measure around five inches wide. Additionally, the gold metal model's product is around 28 feet scale feet longer. For those with a limited pocketbook or those who require much more fencing, Scale bra Brass Mesh Screen is available to make your own fencing. I'll talk more about that in an upcoming episode. I'll also share my method for scratch building chain link fencing using a material used for wedding veils called tulle and using wire for the framing. Not a new idea, but I do have an unusual aspect to my method you might find interesting. Well, thanks for watching another 5-Minute Modeler and happy railroading. Take care and be good.